Are the Chiefs going to re-sign Michael Dana and Donovan Smith now after the Legereus Sneed trade? That's the topic of today's video, Chiefs Kingdom, and I know we're not the usual chat sports studios. You're not watching the Chiefs sport with all our graphics and cool stuff, but hey, I wanted to get a video out to you, and unfortunately, our weekend videos that we have prepared, they don't really make sense anymore after the Legereus Sneed trade. They have some stuff that just are kind of outdated, and that's unfortunately how the sports world work, but I did not, did not want to leave y'all high and dry over the weekend, so figured I'd come on here, talk with y'all. I uh, really do appreciate it. If it's the first time, I'm your host, Jay Sanders, and we like to talk about the Chiefs sport and talk about the Chiefs every single day of the year, and I'm not letting the weekend stop me, so we appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. Let's kind of go into the details last night because I do want to kind of clarify something. Now, the Chiefs did trade Legereus Dean to the Tennessee Titans. If you missed the entirety of that, we've got shorts on our YouTube page. We also have a full video breaking that all down. Uh, I do want to clarify, the Chiefs got a third round pick in 2025, and then new details came out that it was a seventh round pick swap. Now, original details were the Chiefs got a third round pick in 2025 and a seventh round pick in this year's draft. Turns out they were also giving a seventh round pick to the Tennessee Titans with Legereus Sneed. So now their seventh rounder at the very end of the draft is a little bit higher up. Uh, I have to think that maybe Brett Breach sees somebody in the later rounds he wants to make sure he gets, and that's why he made to include that. Legereus Sneed did sign an immediate extension with the Tennessee Titans, which was the way that this trade had to go. And I think that was the big barrier blocking him from going to the Indianapolis Colts and going to the Lions because the contract was just not there for those two guys. They weren't willing to give that. The Titans, on the other hand, had the most money in all of the NFL to spend, and they gave Legereus Need a four-year contract with $76 million, $19 million a year, $55 million of that guarantee. I saw the comments. I saw the Twitter posts. I saw everything saying, I wish Brett Beach and the Chiefs could pay Legereus Need. I wish they would have paid Legereus Need. And while I do see your point, and I understand that the Chiefs obviously would love to keep Legereus Need, it just didn't make sense financially. Because of the next two years, the contract for Patrick Mahomes is going to increase to around $60 million. Do I expect it to stay that way? No, I expect some of that money to be deferred to a signing bonus next year, and that way they can open up some cap space. Same thing with Chris Jones. He's going to be a cap space hit of over around $30 million next year. Uh, and so with that, the Chiefs obviously not going to have a lot of money to spend next year. This allowed them to open up some money this year, get some guys back that maybe wouldn't have come back, like Michael Dana, like uh, Donovan Smith, who I think are both great players. I know that the left tackle position has been a question mark for the Chiefs for the past couple days, and now maybe they just get Donovan Smith back. He has not re-signed with a team. This would be a perfect way to not have to worry about drafting a left tackle this year because you have Wanya Morris, and I do think the Chiefs really have some good insight on him and they believe he can be a top talent in the NFL. I just don't think he's there development-wise yet. So I think that's where that has to sit. Now, I will say with the numbers here, Legereus Sneed, $19.8 million on the franchise tag. That now goes off the Chiefs cap space. So how much money do they have? Well, according to Pete Sweeney, it's around $27 million in cap space heading into this 2024 season. $8 million or so will be what the Chiefs will probably have to spend on a draft class. So... I kind of have the question again, would you want to see a re-signing of Michael Dana or Donovan Smith? Is that something that you would want to see? Or would you rather the Chiefs spend money on different players that maybe weren't on the Chiefs last year, like a Justin Simmons, like a Xavier Howard to help increase this cornerback room? Or maybe do you increase the cornerback room in the draft? Well, now's your time to chime in because I want to ask you, do you see the Chiefs using the money and signing somebody from out of market or from internally in the Chiefs team like Michael Dana or Donovan Smith. If you think it's going to be Dana Smith or somebody that was on the Chiefs last year, I want you to type I for internal. If you think it's going to be somebody who maybe didn't play with the Chiefs last year, like an Xavier Howard, like a Justin Simmons, then I want you to type E for external for somebody that was not on the team next year. So now's your time. Get down in the comment section. Which one do you think that will be? I personally think they're going to try and keep their guys home because we know that last year, the only true pop problem with the Kansas City Chiefs was their wide receiving core. Hollywood Brown, I think, has done mounds and mounds of damage to that. And I truly do feel like the Chiefs, without drafting a wide receiver right now, could easily go for a three-peat and feel pretty comfortable with this team that they have. That being said, I still do think they will draft a wide receiver in the first round. And so now it's about getting everybody else in line. Your cornerback room is pretty trusted. I think Jalen Watson is a really, really great player as a CB2. I really think he's going to perform well. And he honestly had a higher PFF grade at the end of the season than 
Legereus Sneed. I know people want to forget about that, but Jalen Watson was an exceptional player last year, and people do not realize how good he was because, guess what? The Chiefs cornerback room was the best in the NFL. When you have a guy like Legereus Sneed, who is regarded as one of the top cornerbacks in the NFL, and yet the only other guy who I would consider be competing with him for that top spot is on the same team, and it's Trent McDuffie. Those two guys were exceptional. Guess what? Jalen Watson was also exceptional. And I'm going to go to uh, a couple of different guys on Twitter said this. The Chiefs would not have traded Legereus Need this year. They would have kept him on the franchise tag. They would have gone out and said, we're going to keep you this year and get nothing for you in the next year because we believe in you and we don't have anybody, anybody behind you. They trust in Jalen Watson. They trust in him to be the guy that he is supposed to be. And I still do feel like maybe they draft somebody in the third, fifth, sixth round of this year's draft to help kind of bolster up that cornerback room. Maybe they trade up and get a sixth round pick if they haven't gotten somebody there yet. Because right now, their draft picks are a first round pick, a second round pick, a third round pick, a fourth round pick, two fifth rounders, and now one seventh round pick that has been moved up. Again, the original report was that the Chiefs got a seventh round pick. In addition to it, it was actually a pick swap. So now their seventh round pick is near the top of that seventh round. I think what we have to sit here and talk about most, though, is what exactly is next for the Chiefs in terms of Brett Veach signing someone? Is he going to go out and does he trust in Jalen Watson or is he going to draft somebody in the cornerback room? Well, I'm going to give you that in just a second. But before that, if you're still looking for your championship gear, like you want to get one of these hats right here, this Champions Chiefs Super Bowl hat, listen, I'm telling you, it's pretty nice. Well, guess what? We got a pretty good deal going on. If you go down in the comment section and you go into chatsports.com slash SB hat, you're going to get 45% off this Chiefs Super Bowl championship hat from Super Bowl 58. I'll make sure to put the link down there in the comments and the description. So go check it out again, chatsports.com slash SB hat, 45% off, guys, 45% off. So you haven't gotten the hat yet, I promise you, it's pretty stylish. I mean, I like it myself. So make sure you go check that out and get that again, 45% off, chatsports.com slash SB hat. Link will be in the comments and the description of this video. Okay, if you want my opinion on what the Chiefs are going to do in the draft right now, I'm sure we'll have mock drafts. I'm going to have some updated draft targets throughout the week. We're going to be on top of all this going forward. But initial thoughts here, from what I'm hearing on Twitter, from what I'm seeing in the Chiefs locker room, I truly do think that they're comfortable with their cornerback room, at least enough to the point where they're not going to draft a cornerback in rounds one or two, unless somebody that is, say, Cooper DeJean falls to 32, you're going to take him. If Nate Wiggins falls to 32, you're probably going to take him. If Kool-Aid McKinstry falls to 32, you might take him. But I don't see the Chiefs trading up in the first round. I think that was uh, initially what the thought I had, but from what I'm hearing in the organization, it's right now seeming like a ladder possibility. Not ruling it out, I think that that could become a higher likelihood in the coming days, maybe Maybe the reports early on are, are, are false. We don't really know. We're just trying to make sure that we get all the information here. But I still think like round one will be wide receiver. Round two will be left tackle if the Chiefs do not re-sign Donovan Smith. That changes a lot if Donovan Smith is re-signed. Because in that case, I think they actually might go cornerback in round one because they can get a pretty good wide receiver in round two with a Devontae Walker, a Brendan Rice, a couple other guys who I truly do feel will be available at 64 plus. The Chiefs are kind of stockpiling picks in 2025. There's a chance that they can make a trade on draft night to go get somebody they want. We've seen that Brett Veach has done that before. Uh, flashback to Patrick Mahomes and the Buffalo Bills trade. Veach is a very good drafter, and I trust him with my heart that he's going to get out and make sure that he gets the right, per right person or right people for the job in Kansas City going for a 3P. And I really can't speak to what, he what he's going to do because – I think his football mind is far and above maybe anybody in the NFL, and certainly more than me. I, I love what I do, but I, I definitely don't compare my football knowledge to Brett Veach as much as I would like to say I am. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of questions still up in the air, and we're going to have to kind of figure them out as we go. But here's the good news. We're going to have reports. We're going to have amazing stuff all right here on the channel. So any type of rumors like this video where Mike Dana and Don Smith were resigned, I want to get a video out to you and kind of go through this luxurious knee trade again. Well, guess what? That's what we're doing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because, again, more and more content are going to come out. Any report, rumor, news article, whatever, uh, we're going to have it here on the Chiefs Report. We do certainly appreciate you watching. Once again, I know we're not in the chat support studio, but, hey, you made it to the end of this video, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it because that makes me know and feel truly loved because you're a real one. You're watching this without all the graphics. You're watching it because you want to talk ball with me, 
And I cannot tell you how great that feels and how thankful I am to have y'all. So we really do appreciate it now. Cheese Kingdom, peace out.